We'll be wearing these for a while. Masks. We've heard a lot about the different kinds, but not all masks are created equal. On the left are masks which claim to act as a barrier between you and your environment. And on the right, those with claims to not only act as a barrier, but to kill germs such as bacteria and viruses. A disposable mask is about 40 cents. Disposable masks are not the same as a medical-grade surgical mask. You really don't know what quality you are buying. There is no way to tell if disposable masks on the shelves offer the same protection as a medical-grade surgical mask made here in Singapore. Can I actually sew a mask that is good enough to protect me? When I saw, I actually make like a adjustable ear look. So everyone's face shape is different. Mm. So you see, it actually close up here and here. Cassandra's homemade masks have the required three layers, but they don't come with antibacterial coating. They are considered adequate protection for those of us who are not frontline workers. The first, given out in April, is made of cotton. It was hard to breathe in. The second version given out in June is a mix of cotton and spandex jersey. While more comfortable than the first version, I still find it very hard to breathe in. Silicon gill mask, which creates a tight seal around your face. It's able to offer a relatively airtight protection, but it can also lead to skin irritation. So it may not be suitable for everyday use or for people with sensitive skin. When a virus lands on a copper surface, the copper's ions blasts through the virus outermost layer and goes on to kill the cell. However, this process takes time, anywhere from 30 minutes to a day. And that's not the only problem. So if you take a look at the mass structure, these lines is about hundreds of microns or so. And a virus about 0.1 of a micron. So which means that actually between these lines you can fit quite a lot of virus. Nano silver or copper has been tested for a lot of different viruses and it's shown to be effective. But specifically to the virus that causes COVID-19, it has to be tested and it has to be conclusive. Carbon filter mask is effective for air pollutants, but for bacteria and for viruses, it definitely has not been many studies that shown its effectiveness. Unfortunately, the masks that offer the most protection are also oftentimes uncomfortable and may even lead to skin problems. But there are some things I should consider when choosing a mask. What you need is a mask with a minimum of three layers, with an outermost layer that is water repellent if possible, a middle layer that acts as a filtration layer, and an innermost layer that absorbs your moisture.